And I'm here with Laura Bell Bunny right now. Now, you just got done performing a little bit ago. What was the feel like for you being at this concert? Oh, it's, it was really fun. I mean, it's an enormous crowd, and they're all up on the hill, so you can see everybody. Whereas in some festivals, it's not a hill. It's like you just you can see out. So everybody gets actually kind of a better view. True. And it's you fun. also, um, you were talking about your new album that you have out, and you said it really has two components, right? Right. Talk to me a little bit about that. Well, the album is called Aiken and Shaken. And uh, there's a side that it's like the slow, achy side that it's it's more um, slower ballads that are a little bit more sultry, but not power ballads. It's almost like exactly. slow country you can make out to and you can cry to, and then uh, and chill out to. And then you have the shaken side, which is kind of like my single "Getting On Up," which is really really up tempo. You can run to it, you can drive to it, you can dance to it. You know, it's just. There, exactly. It's, going. it's almost like, and, and the shaken side has some bluegrass elements and also Motown elements and put together. Well, you sounded absolutely wonderful. Now, I've seen you perform on Broadway, which I thought really? you were phenomenal. So to see you kind of make the transition, how, how did that help you tran uh, transfer into country? Well, I didn't transfer. Um, I just happened to get a record deal. I've been uh, writing and singing country music since I was a teenager. Wow, okay. And so I, I had a, a band with another girl. Um, right out of high school when I was 18 and, I, and we actually were roommates in New York and we just decided we were, I was supposed to go to college there and, and we decided to form this band and I had just started writing music and so had she and she was from my hometown uh, in Kentucky and uh, it ended up that uh, you know we, we had this band that we would do these shows together at night um, like when I got my first Broadway show after the shows were over uh, or on our days off and then eventually I we disbanded and I did an independent record on my own before I did Legally Blonde was my last Broadway musical. Is that you, what you said? I saw that and you were truly a triple threat I must say. Oh, you, you really are. Thanks so much for doing this.